G'day guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are talking about the cable crossover standing bicep curl. Okay, <clears throat> um, interesting exercise. I actually will be perfectly honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of this exercise. I think there's far better ways. I actually think the single arm um, alternative to this particular exercise is a far more um, practical and beneficial exercise. That being said, um, fun is a massive element when it comes to training and I cannot uh, uh, preach strongly enough that fun is as much of an important element to training as is diet and nutrition, uh, uh, di sorry, diet and nutrition, diet and exercise, and the reason being is because if you're not having fun, well, you're probably not gonna adhere to anything that we put ahead of you anyway. So, with that being said, this is, this is a good fun exercise. Um, <clears throat> You can get a good look at your biceps, especially if you're fortunate enough to have a mirror behind you. Um, what it does, or, or, or how we go about this particular exercise is, it's essentially mimicking a, a front double bicep pose where we're going to have our hands out like so, and we're going to be pulling the cables in and coming back out. Now, <clears throat> there are a few things that we need to be aware of when it comes to this particular exercise, and that is that we, we, don't, we need to be able to create not one, but two anchor points, and that comes from our shoulders, okay? Because we are targeting both arms unilaterally, so we have um, this arm working independent of this arm because obviously these two aren't connected, okay? We need to make sure that um, we have created two anchor points, and those anchor points are actually gonna be coming from our shoulders. So what we know about our biceps is goes, um, it inserts down into our forearm here, comes up into the front of our shoulder there. Um, what we also know about a muscle is that a muscle won't get the best contraction possible if both joints are at play. So a great example of this is if I bring my, my <coughs> uh, quadricep, which also goes over two, inserts up onto the top of your hip and goes down to the bottom of your knee, uh, or, uh, yep, down into your kneecap. <coughs> if I bring my, my leg up all the way as high as I possibly can, so I contract as hard as I can at this point and try and straighten my leg, I can't do that. I have to lower this point to, in order to um, contract that. So what we need to do is to create an anchor point. And so the anchor point for us is that we're trying to hinge and, and grow our biceps, which we, we know works better by, um, by <coughs> creating a hinge pattern and doing a bicep curl. Um, so we need to make sure that we are pulling our shoulder blades back and down in order to create two anchor points. Right, so what does that mean for us? Well, we actually got to control this ex exercise through our lats and our lats can't go off. All right, and the reason why I want to do that is that we need to, <coughs> if we allow these off, we're not going to get the most amount of tension and the most amount of stimulus through that bicep for it, for it to grow. Okay, so that's the point number one. Point number two is that with any, any arm exercise, we need to create a nice straight line of pull. So we actually need to be aware of two lines of pulls when it comes to this particular exercise. So there is a lot going on with this exercise with an exercise that looks very, very basic. Um, <clears throat> we need to make sure that with a straight line of pull that we are pulling these three points in a nice straight line. And those three points are your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder joint, okay? If we start venturing inside, oh, sorry, inside and outside, um, what can happen is an accumulation of poor execution over a long period of time can result in injury, okay? So in particular for us, it'll be an overload and overuse of the inside of the elbow and, and, ex um, and the outside of the elbow. Uh, so we want to avoid these pitfalls and we don't want to be doing that over a period of time. Plus, we also want the right load going through the right muscle in order to grow. So we want to get the most bang for our buck whilst we do it, if we're going to do it. All right. So this exercise, let's talk about our setup. We are going to screw our feet in, we're gonna lock our knees out, we're gonna squeeze our glutes on. We don't, want to, we don't want any mechanical advantage, we don't want any weak points. So we wanna make sure that we're creating the best stable base that we can, the best anchor point that we can for our biceps to work. So that starts at our feet. All right, we're gonna screw our feet in, lock our knees out, shoulder blades back and down. Now we're a nice strong anchor point for our biceps to be pulling from. Okay, with our elbows, what we're looking to do is we're gonna keep them up just above our armpits. Okay, so if I was to draw a nice straight line out, they're gonna be sitting just above. Okay, we're gonna grab a hold of the cable crossover. We're gonna pull our shoulder blades back and down. 
Okay, you can see this one's probably not the most ideal length apart. Um, ideally, we probably want to be a little bit wider out, but it is what it is. Um, probably use shorter handles, I would have thought. <coughs> All right, so screw our feet in, lock our knees out, squeeze our glutes on, shoulder blades back and down. I've created anchor points. Now, I'm looking for my line of pull, so my wrist is going to in line with, be in line with my elbow and my shoulder, also this side. And now what I'm looking to do is just bring my hands to the tops of my shoulders and do a nice double bicep pose. And we wanna make sure that we aren't dropping our elbows, even though I am at the moment. Um, we don't wanna drop them too low. We wanna keep them nice and strong and just working that axis there. Or working that line there, should I say. Okay, when we're doing this exercise, we also wanna make sure that when we are coming out that we're controlling our, our, our negative um, and creating a stretch to these biceps so that we're not going lax. Okay, the last thing we wanna do when we're doing this exercise is just allow the weight to flop out, curl in, flop out. Okay, by doing that, you're going to put unwanted stress on the joint itself, and you, that pot potentially could accumulate and result in injury. Okay, so what we are looking to do is we're gonna control this weight back out. All right, shoulder blades back and down, feet on. And then on the way back out again, we're gonna control length, keep the stretch on, back in. Control length back in and what you'll notice too is that by controlling that weight you'll be able to keep a nice straighter line of pull um, and then your biceps will take all of that load and come potentially rep six rep eight they will be burning and much more active and much more alive than potentially you might be used to so team again not the biggest wraps on this particular exercise. I actually think that you should go for the single arm variant of this exercise. However, again, fun is a key element. So if you're doing this exercise, make sure you use these tips and tricks in order to keep yourself nice and safe, nice and injury free, and nice and pumped up. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the uh, standing bicep curl off the cable crossover machine.